ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله عن ابي امامه الباهلي رضي الله عنه قال ذكر لرسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم رجلان أحدهما عالم والآخر عابد فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فضل العالم على العابد كفضل على أدناكم فضل العالم على العابد كفضل على أدناكم Abu Umam al-Bahili radiyallahu an said that a couple of men mentioned in front of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam one of them is a scholar and the other one is a worshipper yani someone who secluded or isolated himself to just worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Mentioned meaning people were talking about their virtues, how good they are. And it seems like they mentioned the worshiper in much more positive way than the scholar. So the Prophet ﷺ wants to direct our attention to the importance of ibadat, where the ibadah if it's not based on knowledge, it's almost useless. Because you have to have knowledge to know how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to worship. So he told them, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the virtue of the scholar over the worshipper is like me over the least righteous person from you the least. Now think of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu virtue, how high his level is, the lowest of levels, this is the difference between the knowledgeable person and the worshiper. Because knowledge is what really saves you, and knowledge is what really uh, helps people and guides people and brings people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and saves people from hellfire. If you were to think about how much Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will get hasanat versus the least of the Sahaba. Every Muslim on earth, everything they get, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gets the same. Because he is the one who brought the religion to us. So you can imagine how much hasanat he gets. Likewise, you have a scholar who teaches, who writes books and such, and everyone reads and benefits from that, gets the same hasanat. Where the worshiper, the most he is getting is just his own hasanat, assuming that everything he does is known. Because you can be a worshiper, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala properly, but limiting yourself to the worship. So this is the difference. Then he added sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam inna Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa malaikatahu wa samawat wa al-ardin hatta al-namlata fi juhriha wa hatta al-huta layusalluna ala muallim al-nas al-khayr Look at the compliment for people of knowledge who teach people knowledge. He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes salam on them, meaning praises them, guides them, mentions them. Malaikatu, doing salam on them, meaning they're making dua and istighfar before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on their behalf. Even heavens and earth, the skies and earth making dua for them. Even the ant 
in its hole, and the fish in the sea, all making dua and praising people who teaches people goodness. And this is not just what you harvest or what people learn from you. It is everything is making dua for you. Just picture yourself given a simple lecture as the way we're doing it now. You could be doing the same thing with your son, with your wife, at home, with your friend. Anyone, just, just giving a short talk, benefiting people. All of these I mentioned, making dua for you and praising you and making istighfar on your behalf. Picture everything on earth and everything in the sky and all the angels and all the fish in the sea and all the ants. If you have a, an, ant, an ant hive making dua for you, I think this is more than enough. All of them making dua for you simply because you are doing something so simple, you're teaching people goodness. In our eyes, simple. In, our, in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's a huge thing. And of course, you cannot teach unless you learn. So this is an encouragement for all of you to seek knowledge and to benefit yourself. And once you do that, you benefit others. And that is the reward that you get. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those people of knowledge and those people who call and make da'wah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakumullahu khayran, subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaykum. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa